Well, we're back. Back again. At the Nine Club. Today, we got a n- normal guest. No, you know? He's kind of special. This okay, okay. He's got a special, we got a special guest. Yeah. Another special guest. We got Rick McCrank. That's me. We have the, TVs, Rick McCrank. In the hot seat. I am Rick McCrank, professional skateboarder yes. and television host. Okay. Oh, you don't, I don't have to introduce myself. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we got Raj over here. And we got Kelly, who's, uh, he partied a little too hard. He's got a little uh, raspy voice today. Uh, Tampa AM, uh, Ybor City kind of, yeah, I'm feeling it. All right. I could, I could, <laughs> for the people listening, I could just say we got Beeble sitting over there. Right. And it would be all right. He's one of my favorites, too. I know. Yeah. What is it I called? Know. The Ebola virus? Ebola virus, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. I got I to admit, I'm starting to feel nervous. Are you? Not that because I'm on your podcast, Whoa. because that's just whatever. Okay. But <laughs> yeah. I'm surrounded by these tech gods, including mm-hmm. you. Tech gods? And I'm like, I've seen you skate. Yeah. And oh, I'm yeah. like, y'all can't front that air, though. Hell no. No. Okay. But you know what? Give me some time. If I was forced to do it, and I, I think I could. I think I. You know how you would front side air? How? You would you would do the front side air and then poke the front foot out that you, way. Like you cardio. think I would do that? Yeah, I already oh, pictured. Is it. that good? Yeah. Okay. You'd bone it out <laughs> old school. He doesn't know if it's yeah. good or not. I don't know so. if it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can we see that? You know the park that you always skate. It's got the really mellow hip that Hastings. you always. Hastings. Would that count if I did a uh, a big air over that? Would that count? Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is it gnarly? Is it thing? No, I mean, I'm asking the guy if he, if it's gnarly. Yeah, no, nothing's really gnarly to me. I know, but, I know. <laughs> um, that's why I'm at. Or <laughs> anyone from Vancouver, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Speaking you, of which, I skated with Alex Chalmers the other day. Oh, he's gnarly as wow. fuck. So cool. Wow. So. Rare. Are you good at front nose slides? <sighs> I feel like all Canadians are good at. Are front you serious? Noses. Yeah. He no. has really good front nose yeah. slides, dude. I think my front nose slides look okay, okay. but I'm not like good at them. Who right. do you think has the best front nose in? Uh, all of Canada. Moses Akonan. Well, Moses has his own front nose slide. It's a Moses thing. Like okay. He puts his foot on the side of the I board love that, vertical. Though. I Nobody love else that. does it. Anybody that. else do that? Not really, no. Yeah. And that is epic. Yeah. Right. The cool thing about Moses, if you're in Vancouver, every single neighborhood block you go to, Moses had a photo on it. So really? He's like the hardest working dude ever. Do you still see, does he skate a lot or is he I, not? I don't no, know. No, he yeah. runs a distro. So he, oh. uh, he's busy and he's okay. got a family and stuff. But he with their families and I shit. Know. You know what I'm, saying? I'm out, like, dude. Are you? I just got out. You got, what do you mean? She's 18. Really? I'm retired. <laughs> that, to, that to me is more crazier than anything. right? Seriously. Because 18, yeah. how, how old were you when you had her? 22. 22. Okay. That, Makes that me guy? about 30. But that, I guess that's cool though. That's cool. 30 something. Because you know what? You're you're young you're a young dad. I we think were, I, I think it's the way to go. You know what I'm saying? If right. y'all, if you, I, got, you should go back in time. I think I missed my mark. Yeah. Do you even have a significant other? He has a cat. I've got a cat, Larry. Yeah. yeah. It's the same thing. Okay, so let's get into this. Why don't you just okay. start with asking me some questions? Does it all start at cherry bombs? It all started at Skate City, which was this little tiny hole in the wall skate shop. Mm-hmm. And that guy that ran it, his name was Claude. He hooked me up. Claude? Claude Renier, who's a slalom skater. Interesting. Still. Okay. And I heard he does handstands around the park. Like, Does he do it over the hip at Hastings? No, he's in his (laughs) Oh, He's 50-something. But uh, yeah, he's a slalom skater, and he opened some park. He had a name for everybody. It was the Skate City Rat Tails. Was this in Vancouver? No, this was in Ottawa, where I grew up. Ottawa? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, which is eastern, kind of near where this guy grew up. Is that near Regina? Further east. Okay. Yeah, Regina's right in the middle, and I'm... A little further east. Is that near Saskatoon? <laughs> further east than Saskatoon. Okay. Further okay. than Moose Jaw. God, I love these names. Yeah. Aren't they great? <laughs> They're pretty good names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, to, 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 to be honest with you, God. I've, I've never heard of Regina before. I love Regina. it. I, but, well, yeah. we, I went there on a it's tour. A, it's a great town. You know, yeah, I loved it. We well, you know the center of, of Canada is beautiful. It is. I mean, trees and... What are you looking at me like I'm crazy, right? I, I just love your love for Canada right now. It's, it's, it's great. Well, hey, because yeah. I'm going to move there. <laughs> Come on. I, I'm going to move. Well, something happened here in the U.S. and, you know, everybody's... <laughs> up there, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna move. Is there like some sort of a um, like a virus? It's sweeping the nation. Will it be a pandemic, or is it gonna stay to this country? We don't know yet. Right. 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 It seems it like could it's spread. Pan- N- nobody's fucking moving. You know what I mean? Like everybody's like, we're going to Canada. We're going to. You're, you're not. Okay. Get you'd, real. You'd love you know. It. You'd love I know. It. I do love it. Vancouver is amazing. I love it. Are you kidding me? We went there for a go skate day uh, a couple years back. It was my first time in Vancouver. Ah. Oh. Loved it, man. Uh, what's the park's name? Uh, a- a- Ambleside. They just redid it. Yeah, I went there for uh, Go Skate Day, and they're raising funds yeah. to rebuild it. And they rebuilt it, and I didn't get invited back. Yeah, you know, I helped rebuild the goddamn place. Yeah. I'm the I'm the only reason. 
that they raise that much money. It's true. I yeah. think you're really influential and you, you bring <laughs> affluence yeah. wherever you go. Would you mind sitting behind the button from now on? <laughs> because uh, I compliment you every time. I, I didn't hear what you said. I can't talk. Oh, to you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, this is not good. Anyway, to answer anyway, your question. Yes. <laughs> yeah. What was your question? Um, where did it all start? So, yeah. Okay. I, got, I wrote for the shop and then I moved to a ski town called Whistler. On the yes, east, on the I west coast, yeah. yeah, it's a, it's I like never... a, it's like Aspen. Okay. So a lot of my friends moved there, and I was like, I'm going to, and I mm. went, and then moved into this house, and there was this lady named Michelle McBurney who lived in this house, Great and name. she started basically the Shorty's Hardware of snowboarding. It was because it used to be able to like bolt. It was called T bolts, like you'd bolt yeah. under the snowboard and stuff that like that, and it's called cherry bombs. Oh. So I lived in this house. She was doing that. And then uh, she decided to make skateboards. Okay. Cherry bomb skateboards. Right. She's like, Vic, you're going to ride for it. And I was like, cool. And you were already <laughs> skating. Yeah, I, I pretty, was skating you, probably like, for a good two months. Were you trying oh. to be a pro snowboarder no. or a pro skater? Yeah, no. how come you didn't get into yeah. that then? I if get you asked that in Whistler. What, like, I get asked that a lot. I just liked snowboarding, yeah. and my closest friends moved there, so I followed okay. them. You right. know what I mean? Okay. But, at, but, at, but at two months in, you were already hooked on skating. Truth be told, it was a few years. We're just joking. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> So anyway, yeah, uh, I moved in this house, and Michelle, uh, also I have a business partner named Michelle from Antisocial. Yeah, okay. Different Michelle. Oh, okay. She gets let's, asked that a lot. Let's get this straight. You know what? I'm surprised you're not wearing your Antisocial shirt tonight. I do I, wear it a lot. I do. I've you been know seeing I mean? that. We were, I we're do. I do. Right well, I need another one. It's getting a little raggedy. The, but I was at the warehouse today. They got them. Do they have them? They got them. I em. love them. It's a, such a good fit. It's a nice sweater. Mm -hmm. It's not like those heavy sweaters, you know? It's very yeah. light. It's, I like it. Us skinny guys don't want to be know, weighed down. I kind of do, though. I need I need a little extra weight. Yeah. Um. Okay, so go on. Raj, oh, Raj, tell, Raj, gonna, Raj gonna, rudely gonna, interrupted you. Uh, Here I go. I'm going to tell my... <laughs> I'm going to bear it all. The, hey, put it all on the table. My then. story. Yeah. She started this company called Cherry Bombs, yeah. and she had some connections in San Francisco. So... I went with her on a road trip to San Francisco, and actually Kenny Reed rode for Cherry Bombs. Really? really? Yes. Whoa. And I How skated with Kenny Reed. Bomb? Sick. Through the San Francisco connection, he lived there, right. and he, maybe he knew the people involved with it, and it was like really early days. Like he had probably just moved from New York State to yeah. California. He's from like Buffalo, right? He's from like, um, what's, what's the place Syracuse? from... There's that Halloween movie where the guy throws the pumpkin. The Charlie Brown um, no. great Halloween caper? Fuck, we're dumb. <laughs> we don't know our Halloween cartoons. I just told you, Charlie it's Brown. A, it's it's a, a, yeah, he's it's from a great Charlie pumpkin, Brown. Charlie Brown. Yeah, I don't know. He's from upstate New York, I think. Okay. Oh, Sleepy Hollow. Yeah, Sleepy Hollow. I think he's from a place called Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Okay. That's a cool name, too. You got Moose Jaw and Sleepy Hollow. I like that, yeah. yeah. Is that the Headless Horseman? Yeah, the Headless yeah, exactly. Horseman. Yeah. yeah. Is that a, what, what town is that? Sleepy Hollow. Oh. Kenny Reed was the Headless Horseman. I'm already learning so much <laughs> in this short period of time. It amazing. was cool, dude. Yeah. He he has so much flavor and style. God, it was are you pretty, kidding me? I was like, oh. One of my favorites. Can you guess the trick he did at Machba that I'm thinking of? Raj should know this. I, I would have. through the keyhole? It was Back just. Back ground 180? No, it was the fakey hard flip he did in oh, a line. Yep. What about the trick I did at Machba? <laughs> You remember that Switch one? Switch flip Manny? Close. Very, <laughs> very close. To you know, but no, um I, I sat against the wall drinking a damn limon. Oh. Yeah. No way. Really I good. Think that was you? That was me. Yeah. You're I'm a trendsetter. I'm probably in the background of a lot of clips in Barcelona. But now everybody does that. I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. So you went on the trip to, to San Francisco. <laughs> I went on the trip to San Francisco. Um, I met Greg Carroll. Wow. Okay. He gave me some ventures and some think. Dick, now why dicky type pants <laughs> and then i yes. thought you know what i love this this is awesome what why did he, he was he just being nice or did he know he knew michelle he, oh so he was being cool yeah yeah he was a think uh probably think right yeah, it was think it was days, think days yeah. and uh it was i went to embarcadero put my board down rolled from here to that wall got a ticket <laughs> yeah right really uh, yeah and it was just this uh this this lady cop she just strolled over all mellow it was, was she wearing a, a flannel is there a flannel lady cop there was, was, was her like name? Under, uh, was someone Mike talked about uh, Frisco Dyke. Oh, Frisco. an undercover. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, no, she yeah. was in like a full uniform, and then uh, and she just strolled over and did it, and I was just so I felt so fucking violated. Right, right. You know what was I mean? Like, do you not see how ridiculous this is? Yeah. yeah, and you probably only got like two cherry bomb boards a month, so it probably hurt. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I probably got only two cherry bomb boards. <laughs> 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 you. Boards to the handrail while drinking a soda that I grew no. up. No. 
Yep, and it was right. No. I, yeah. No. I watched it on a video. All right. Yeah. Wrong. Yeah. I board sit a handrail while drinking a smoothie. A smoothie. Because <laughs> I'm progressive. <laughs> you were way healthier. That's right. Do you know that clip? <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I did. Like, I landed and I look up and I kind of get this nod. Right. It was to Donnie Barley. Really? He was wow. state skating. And then I felt like a, like a cool guy nerd <laughs> when I did it, but I was just fooling around. And I got brain freeze. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. That's an amazing. Strawberry banana, was it? Oh, Strawberry. It probably was. Yeah. yeah. Usually I get a citrus one back then. Oh. It was kind of like, it wasn't such green leafy. Dude, no very, one knows it's very sweet. that that was a smoothie until today. Ah, you heard it here first, Nine Club. That's like, it. Do you like this history stuff? I, you know, it, it's cool. Oh. Uh, it's cool. It leads okay. up to something. It. It's it's interesting to, to, to hear how people got their start. You know? All right. Yeah. So I was um, skating for Cherry Bombs. Yeah. The first graphic they made for me was a guy puking so into a toilet. So you turned pro on Cherry Bomb. It happened. Yes. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> That's okay. what it's called when your name's on a skateboard. Yeah. So this is, I'm like the smallest of small towns in Whistler. And mm -hmm. this, that's just what happens. Okay. I don't think I felt comfortable with it. Really? I, I honestly, I'm not a part, up until I became a pro, I wasn't right. part of the skate culture very much. So, so I didn't know what to do and what not to do. I was okay. kind of a kook. So how old were you when you were kooking it and you turned pro? I was about 18. Oh, okay. So not that young. Yeah, but yeah, I was you doing, were... you know, I was doing Benny Hanna's. Oh, Switch. Like Switch. No shit. So how long were you on Cherry Bomb for uh, Pro? Probably just a year. But then I'm getting, I got on Shorty's Hardware because I lived in Whistler, Snowboard Town. I knew okay. the, the snowboard team. This guy, Kevin Young and Chris Brown. And uh, they're like, Shorty's going to start. Or, or they do snowboards at the time. And then oh. they talked to, I think his name's Tony, the owner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're like, cool, hook him up. And then uh, I went on a road trip down south and with the shorties. It was rad. Oh, wow. I thought it was, I was so psyched to ride for shorties. Yeah. And then. Yeah. This is before they made boards. Yeah. yeah. So then not long after that, the rumor was they're going to start boards. And then my snowboard buddies are like, we're going to get you on shorty skateboards. It's going to be so sick. Wow. And then so that's when my mind. You and Chad. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of would have been sick, but that's when my <laughs> mind was, that's when my mind was kind of going, oh, I maybe I need to like move into that world of sponsorship. Right. You know what I mean? Okay. It kind of started to make sense. Yeah. And uh, I was sponsored by like the Canadian Soltech distributor and they were helping me with things. And one day I'm skating Whistler Bowl. All that was there was a snake run. Okay. You know, like a snake run with a big bowl at the mm -hmm. end of it. Yeah. And uh, Colin McKay shows up with Jody Morris, the photographer. Yeah, yeah. And they're, they just come to skate. They you know, probably went on a road trip up to Whistler for the day and shoot photos. And uh, I think I'd met Colin. Okay, let's backtrack. Right about when I got on Cherry Bombs, mm -hmm. I went from Whistler into Vancouver. Some guy cold called me, this filmer. He's like, I heard you're a good skater. We're going to make a video. You want to go to the city wow. and skate? Okay. So this guy, Brad McGregor, he just like picked me up, just met him. Like, hi, I'm Rick. I'm Brad. Let's go. Drove me to the city, and we went to this famous spot in Vancouver called the Reservoir, or the Res. Moses at Conan's there. Sick. And Colin. And to me, it's just like, you know, your idol. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? It was the Red Dragon crew. I don't even know if they called themselves that then, you know? Hmm. It was like that long ago. Moses on Mad Circle. Yeah, yeah they're Red Dragons. Yeah. I yeah. guess they were. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Definitely were. Yeah. And then we skated all day, and we ended up downtown. And then I met this other guy named Scott Service, who was a photographer. Okay. I ended up switch alling over this rail... And Scott took a photo of it, and it ended up on the cover of this Canadian skate mag called Concrete Powder. Wow. It ended up being called Concrete after that. Mm -hmm. So it was sort of like this huge monumental day. Like, I met all these people, and then I was just right, like, right. I was in. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, I'm the skater. You're a made man all of a sudden. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, then I meet, uh, Colin came to Whistler. And so I'm skating the bowl. I do this trick. It was a it was crazy weird, like, varial flip and then front side body varial. Caught it all weird. Mm. They said it was like a tray flip late front side 180, but in the caption that's not what it was no no but um okay. anyway was i was talking to colin and colin was like hey what are you doing for boards and i was like well i'm talking with these sh maybe getting on shorties mm -hmm. and he's like if that doesn't work out let me know i was like cool he's gonna he's gonna help me get sponsored that's cool right and then uh i think jody or somebody called me and they're like we want you on plan b yeah yeah oh. was that when they're like filming for a res uh, revolution yeah oh. and i was like you know, like the brain turned off, like this doesn't compute. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just shut down like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then they ended up, um, I think I went on a road trip to California. Okay. And ended up 
skating that was like all right you got to skate with the team a bit so i ended up skating with jeremy ray and pat chinita is that the moment where you tripped out on jeremy ray's kickflip how he <laughs> hangs his toe off off of the i'd already <laughs> honestly jeremy ray yeah was my favorite skater oh, for really? so many years yeah i mean yeah. I'll, probably all of us too, it was like duffy know? jeremy yeah. i used to do big gaps when i was like 13 and stuff mm -hmm. and um it was. It just didn't make sense. You know what I mean? I was like, "Why the fuck am I here skating with these guys?" Yeah. And then um, I was most impressed with Chinita, though. I'll say that right now. Super consistent, super hard tricks. I was always a fan. I ended up getting a call from Mary Ternaski, Whoa. Mike Ternaski's wife, who was running it. It was after Mike died. Okay. And uh, she's like, "We're gonna put you on the team." And then I was like, "This is insane." Yeah. You know what I mean? This right. is like what just happened here. This election. Yeah. <laughs> it was like this just doesn't make sense. Yeah. How is this happening? Right. But right, it was in. Right. I don't know, I'm not gonna get into. <laughs> uh, anyway, so uh, that happened, and then I had okay. planned on going on a, a, a vacation with my girlfriend. We're going to Costa Rica, backpack around Costa Rica. Oh wow! Okay. And it happened nice. like I got the call. Next day, I went to Costa Rica. And it almost ruined my trip. I was like full meltdown. Right. Like, what the fuck? I can't be on plan B. This is too much pressure. Like, they, um, they'll, the they'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're, you're you? Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then I went to California and ended up I, a few times. I stayed with uh, Patchnita and his family. Sick. His brother Bilu and I can't remember his parents' names. I, and I was a vegetarian then too. And they were just like, they're, his mom would always cook meals. And I'd be like, no, thank you. No, thank you. No. And then she would always just cook eggs for me on the side. Like put it under the door for you. <laughs> on the side. <laughs> like, really, yeah. That was sicko. And his brother Bilu was like obsessed with Oasis. And he just played guitar. And he's like, <laughs> he's like. Champagne supernova. <laughs> so are you waking up to that? Exactly. Yeah. And he was like, he, he was, his goal was to be Oasis. Like he started oh, wow. a band called Iverseen. And that was his goal. And he would like yell out. We were driving. He just yell out the window, buy the album. Just to people walking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was sick because he was like, he's really yeah, focused. Focused. Then we filmed for the, during that time for the revolution with Bilu. Bilu filmed most of that. So he had a full part in that, right? Yeah. That was weird for me be looking back because, um, mo well, actually Bilu filmed the stuff in California, but the most of the stuff I filmed was like kind of what, how people skate now. It was just a homie camera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was just skating downtown every day and I, w I didn't know how to film for a part yet. Yeah. I just knew to go skating. Yeah. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. Were you stoked on your part? I was so depressed. But is that you just being like... I'm my worst critic. But exactly. Not as copious did the the lettering for the names and stuff. And I went to the premiere and it yes, was like, yes, yes, my right. name is M-C-C-R-A-N-K. And it was M-C-K-R-A-N-K. And I was like, they spelled my name wrong. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. That's really good. I was depressed. Like, you know what? Um, video premieres bum me out. I don't know. It's a lot of pressure. Yeah. It's a lot of pressure. I mean, you got a theater full of people, and yeah, I don't what, like that you gonna, kind of. You're gonna yeah. like, are people gonna clap? Are they gonna yeah. like? What are they gonna? Did you go to the Plan B Revolution premiere? I would think I was the only person clapping at the end of your part. It was pretty. <laughs> I just, I True just story. felt compelled to, you know. Was it like, like that? Did it, it was, feel like that? It was. It literally was, and it was like. Uh, Do you think it's because no one knew who you were at the time, though? Yeah, and your little mercy clap. I, I don't. Well, I just tried, but then it, but then it turned that one clap turned into a standing ovation. <laughs> Everybody just <laughs> built the whole momentum. Like, Wait a minute, this yeah, just sunk this in. Is, this is, <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't like that, though, bro. No one knew who I was, and I yeah. skated way the way I skated, and I did some things in there that I thought were good. There's like a switch board side on a pretty big rail. Like yeah. I was just learning that then. Okay. And then, but all the other stuff, just cruising around downtown Vancouver was. I think it's kind of cool though, but yeah. for a Plan B video. Right, right. That's right, when right, I learned, right. you know, I was like, yeah. you know, you got to really. And then around that time I had a kid right then. Okay. And then I was like, I got to work. A lot of things going on. Yeah. yeah. Right. It was like, you have a job. So I got like a little dandruff in sometimes, you know, do, do you ever get a little dry time. scalp, Look you know, with the, when you wear black? I don't get it all the time, but sometimes I get a little dry scalp, mm -hmm. you know. Do you use head and shoulders? I'm super allergic to everything. Are you really? Yeah. Like scents and stuff. Do you, so I use well, I, I use like Dr. Bronner's no sense tree tea uh, shampoo. Tea, it's tea uh, tree tree tea tree uh, soap. No, I use hypoallergenic Dove okay. soap that doesn't smell like anything. You would think that Dove, like out of all brands, like why would they have something like that? They, they're all about natural. Yeah. Are they? They are Dove. And then I use Ivory. That's cool. <laughs> 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 FYI, <laughs> congratulations. F FYI. Yeah. 
Have you noticed I've been scratching my nose? Yeah, what's wrong? The allergies. Really? Yeah. I is there like something in the? Oh, is it the rabbit or maybe oh. like the toxins? You should on have this. told us. Yeah. We would have we would have uh, washed these in hypoallergenic. Yeah. Uh, I don't know? even notice it, and like if I'm being filmed, I look later, right. and I'm always like. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, stop scratching your nose. I'm trying, dude. <laughs> I, I've noticed it. Um, but anyway, this is a funny so story, though. I, I I want people to learn this because okay, I yes. didn't know that I was allergic to detergent. Really? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And I was in, suffering. In what, what way were you allergic to it, though? Were you breaking out or? I would, uh, like, my nose would, like, block up and oh. my eyes would get itchy. It was really? like a cat allergy. And you didn't was... know what, what it was? No. I thought it was like, I was just allergic to the world. Right. And then. <laughs> right. Or uh, this is just the way I am. <laughs> yeah. Huh. And then, because I'm not good at, like, fixing problems with myself, you know, yeah, I just okay. power through. Yeah. And then my, my wife, before we were married, she, we would go to bed and she was like, you know what, I think. Every as soon as you hit the pillow, you start sniffling. Huh? I think you're allergic to this, and she switched it out and saved my life. Really? It's crazy. How long did it take you to learn that? I was in my 30s, dude. Wow. Yeah. Because I knew like I was allergic to like things in the air, like yeah, pollen, pollens for whatever. sure, right. and cats okay. and dogs. Yeah. And I even had a cat because my daughter's mom had him, mm. and it was my daughter's cat. So. So after the Plan B video, right? Did you start filming again for something else, or or how long were you on Plan B? Was it was it, uh, a, it was short lived. I feel like maybe about a year. That's it. They went out of business. Okay. Oh, they did. Yeah, that's when Birdo scooped you up. Well, here's the. You want the story? Sure. Yep. Plan B went out of business. Yeah. I'm a new dad. Right. I'm scared. Right. I need work. Yeah. Uh, and Birdhouse was filming for the end and they were promoting okay. it like crazy and they were mm-hmm. number one. You know, they were like a big They brand. were up there. Yeah. yeah. Willie Santos. Mm-hmm. And, and then I was like, that seems safe. Okay. For, you know, like job yeah. security. And plus you, you fit the team too, I feel like, you know? I think it worked yeah. out. Yeah. 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 For, yeah. for yeah. skating. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. So I was like, I want to ride for, I think that would be a safe bet. So how did that, how did you do that? Then? Danny Way got me on Birdhouse. Really? Oh. Yeah, because he, he had my back. Danny's yeah. fucking Sick. a G. Rad. And he he's like, you know, like we're f- Plan B was like the tightest family, kind of mm. like Girl Chocolate. Okay, right. It was sick and like it was rad. I don't know, like King Gale on tour was so fun. And okay, like yeah. Matt Hensley. Oh, wow. Fucking, we did a US tour and Matt Hensley drove the whole way and it was just like watching him drive. He was a team <laughs> manager. <laughs> right? Like this guy drives good. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I was just like, he, everything he does is cool. Right. He was like the big brother. Everybody's big brother. You're just okay. like, he's the coolest dude. Wow. But anyway, so uh, I was on Plan B, they went out, and then yeah. I was talking to Danny, because it wasn't faded out immediately. Like, okay. They, out. they knew it was coming, though? Yeah. Huh. And then Danny like called probably Tony or Klein. Okay. And um, and they're like, whoa, that guy's like young and skating hard. Right. That'd be cool. And yeah. then I flew down to California, and... Uh, Jeremy Klein and Heath Kirkchart picked me up at the airport. That must have been a trip. Did you know them at that time or no? No. No? No, strangers. Mm. Wow. And they were like, I think they were like, you're really skinny. <laughs> <laughs> they just Trust talked me. about my physical appearance I right get away. that a lot. Yeah, I, was I like, get that a lot, yeah. And then we get in the car and they're like, we're filming for this video. See if we can get some tricks for it. So they weren't worried about you getting a full part. They thought point, maybe I right? could get a trick or two. Oh, you know one what I mean? They, they're like, see what can happen. Okay, dude, you got a bunch of footage yeah. pretty fast. I it did. Seemed like, it yeah. was a productive time. Ooh. Yeah. And uh, those dudes would just every day. I'd stayed at Klein's house in his guest room every day. Him and uh, Heath are are taking me to spots, and they're like, I think the first day. I got a trick or two, and the next day was, and so they're 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 kind of stoked. They're like, like wow. well, let's get this keep this rolling. Right. Yeah. We went to the San Diego reel. I think that was the first spot. Like, cause I'm from a place where the ground is really rough and mm-hmm. things are hard to skate, and this is just weather like weather ridden. This California like stuff is better than skate park. There's there's like, cause there's like an energy in it. It's crazy. It's mm-hmm. just like fucking yeah. do all the tricks you didn't even know you could do. Spot. So I just started jumping down this thing for like doing a ton of tricks. Yeah. I remember I switched fifty to it, and it's the biggest thing I'd ever even a thought of switch 15 and right. first try first try <laughs> wow and i gotta say like i don't like i and i'm still learning how to film yeah and <laughs> still and i'm having fun it was yes. fun right and so what i'm doing i'm skating this rail and I, i'm going to fakie and i'm mm-hmm. looking back at mouse for fun and it gets in the video it's this guy that does tricks and is looking backwards at the camera the whole time i didn't oh, yeah. know that's right yeah yeah i didn't know right just beaming yeah it was just fun huh did anybody ever talk about that? All the time. Really? All the what, what, time. What, was the, what was the main? Uh, were there they were they like this guy's conceited a or little skepticism? Little Lisa, a little bit of like uh, y'all, you look back. I don't know. It's uh, like, yeah. I, I loved it. Yeah, I still do that. But it's <laughs> 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 I would do a lot of 
I don't know if I do front board to fakie. I just don't. My neck doesn't want to turn that way. Okay. Yeah. I just look back. Yeah. Honestly, I think I learned it from Bobby Puglio did it. Yeah. He did switch front side wall ride in oh, San yeah. Francisco on a, on a bank to wall. Huh. And he stared down the wall and I thought it was so sick. I probably just copied Bobby Puglio. I actually stare manual pads down. You know what I mean? <laughs> they I give tell it down. Them, yeah. They got to listen to me. Just shrink it down. You know? <laughs> yeah. They get scared. Okay. When, when the Birdhouse video came out the and they had a premiere for it. Yeah. How how did you feel then about the about your part? Were you stoked? I don't know if I was at the premiere. Oh really? Why, yeah. Why wouldn't you be at the premiere? I don't know. It's a big video to, to not. You're snowboarding, show up. huh? Probably think, snowboarding. Yeah, I think there was like a powder day or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a memory of going to the Minic Madi premiere. Now that let me tell you something, Rick. That is an amazing video to be a part of. Okay, I'm holding the, the VHS of Manic Mani in my right, hand. Right, And I'll take myself out of it because that's what you got to do. And I'll say this is probably top three best videos ever made. I'm going to have to agree with you because when that came, I haven't watched it in a long time, but I feel it's like... Great, dude. Fred I, killed it. I, I should. I should watch it. That, but I feel like um, I must have watched that video 300,000 yeah. times. Yeah. No, not even exaggerating. Like, it was like... It changed the game, dude. Fred is fucking genius. Of course, bro. Like, yeah. the quality of that video and the next levelness of it. Dude, the rolling long lens. The frangle. The thing. What? Frangle. Excuse me? What, what's a frangle? Fred Angle. Oh, I like that. I think him and Ty like were doing that. it around the exact same time. Okay, but, but that came out first, though, right? Who do you think? Dan Wolf. Yeah. All right. Well, Just saying. I agree. I, you know, I'll take your word for three. it. I don't know. I will take your word for it. But he, he didn't use it heavily. No. That's the thing. It was like when you, you'd like, yeah. So you that, own so, it. So after the Birdhouse video, you started working on the Menek Mahdi? Or I how did so. that, yeah? I don't know. <laughs> no, I think you were on the chocolate tour was first. Yeah. Oh, okay. Birdhouse and me didn't feel right. Really? I, I, I just figured it out now because it just felt like the team hated each other. Really? It didn't feel like uh, the family I was used to. Okay. And that's what it, that's the the standard that I had. You right, know? right, right. And then I went there and everybody was like kind of like against each other in some way it seemed. It's weird. But then I just realized recently that it was the end of a giant film video project. Right. Yeah. And everybody's so fucking burnt out and hates each other. Okay. I didn't know that. Right. So I was just like, this doesn't feel comfortable, hmm. you know? Now did you, you just, you quit? I was thinking about leaving because okay. it didn't feel cool and I was kind of like t telling people that. I did it the, the worst way you could do it. I just sort of didn't call them. You yeah. know what I mean? Wow. And and then uh, who was the team at TM at the time? Oh, Strickland. Strickland, Jay. And uh, he ended up calling me and he's like, I'm hearing these things. Right. And I was like, I was like caught. He's like, I hear you're, gonna, you're trying to leave or whatever. Right. And I didn't have anything where to go. And I was like, yeah, it just doesn't feel right. Yeah. You know, and he, he was so bummed. Hmm. He's like, you know, if it was my company. I'd be hunting you down, but it's not, but whatever. Right. I was like, whoa. Like I felt like scared. Yeah. Hunting you down like to kill you. Or he was just like, you, you, we did this stuff for you and right. we featured you in our video and you're just going to bounce, like get in all this recognition. And I did. Mm -hmm. get that recognition right. and I, I didn't plan that and it was like a really shitty thing to do I yeah. think you know mm -hmm. what I mean I probably a, a professional would have stuck it out longer and, and, and then slowly moved okay. on right yeah. right Colin McKay again uh, got me on Girl interesting him, him and a, Eric he was on Girl at that time yeah. yeah and I was riding for S so I'd been okay. on some trips with Eric and um, we, we meshed really well and had, yeah. it was fun. And right. Just felt right that the family vibe began yeah. and everything. Yeah. yeah. Then I was off Birdhouse because they heard. Yeah. And I told them, yeah, um, I'm leaving. Do they kick you off or are they kind of like, or did you quit of, or it's it mutual? Was the same, it was mutual. Yeah. Yeah. I love his voice right now. I know. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's cool. It sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were like, um, like they heard, they, they, they heard would you have preferred if I stayed. Right, but they know? heard you were going to quit, and they were like, "Okay, yeah. well, fuck this guy." Yeah, and I think they already knew Andrew was going to do Baker and stuff and move on. Ah, so okay, like it, right. I think it, like I even knew it was dissolving. Yeah. Uh, so it was like this isn't the safety net I wanted. Right, right, right. <laughs> and right, then right. Um, was Stephen Heath talking about going to Alien too at the time? No. And then so oh, and then Colin and Eric got you on Girl. Yeah, and that was weird because uh, so I I was out of a sponsor. Yeah. And then I don't know if you know Rick Howard. <laughs> mm, I've heard of I've him. heard of him too. But yeah. He, he's not really good at like decision making. Okay. <laughs> Canadian guy, right? Yeah. yeah. The ball was in his court. It was like his decision. He talked to the team and I from what I heard later was like most of the team a lot of the team were like, "Nah, no, no." Really? No. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Really? Maybe you. I don't know. It, well, but, no, uh, that's a girl thing. Yeah. 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 Really but anyway, yeah, like some people were like, because I had, you know, cherry bombs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rick called Benny Hanna's cherry bombs. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Rick was nervous. He's like, the guy rips. Colin was really vouching for okay. me, which was rad. Right. And uh, and he was nervous. And I think somehow he just like. Pulled the trigger. What is it? A, a wing and a prayer or something like that? I don't know the sayings. I don't use those. A fart in the wind. <laughs> fart in the wind. Yeah. 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 It was something like I that. took a chance. Like, a blowout in the rain. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, then, then Rick was like, "Cool, we'll, we'll do it." And then, nice. you know, my life has been a fairy tale ever since. I mean, I swear to God, one of the best companies escape for him. I know? couldn't have been any more fortunate. Right. Yeah. So, girl's a good thing. You're still on girl. We're we're doing. You're doing big things. You know. He's doing huge things. You're doing now. huge things, man. You got the show. I have a TV on show. On Vice Land. Yeah. Listen, man. How did the TV show come about? How did it? Yeah. What did it, was it a did Spike hook it up? No, Spike had nothing to do with it. Did you yeah. pitch it to somebody, or did they come after you? Like, how does it? Story goes: uh, Alex um, and our producer David and our filmer Dave Ehrenreich, they had I'm trying to figure out why they didn't come after me. That's what I'm trying I know, to figure out. I know because you don't have a camera. Yeah, and that's literally true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so those guys, my boys, right. my guys. Okay. You've known them for a while. Yeah, like a decade at least. Oh, wow. Like okay. these are my best friends. Oh, wow. Uh, they did that project. It was a skate video in Nova Scotia in an abandoned hotel. It's called Aspatogan. For Red Bull. Yeah. So basically, they took over this hotel, like on the coast, that was almost done being built. It's totally like The Shining. Oh. And it was abandoned for a long time. And then they built all these spots in there. Sick. Joey went. Oh. So they did that project. And their producer. Mm -hmm. Ended up working for Viceland when they started. The oh. Canadian, uh, there's a Canadian office. Okay. So him and Alex, our director, had been talking about maybe expanding that idea and taking, like, doing more of that, like, mm -hmm. web series stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then he went to Viceland, and w one of the owners, uh, Eddie Moretti, mm -hmm. he was just somewhere and he, in, in Canada, and he saw an abandoned mall. And he just came back, and it's sort of just like, we got to do something about these abandoned malls. And he's like saying this to Jason, our executive producer. Right. And he's like, I know the show and I know the people. And he, from that's how it happened. Right. Like, because this is a brand new network that needs content. Yeah. So it was just like, just riffing on ideas. You right, know what I mean? Right, right. And then Jason uh, called Alex and then they're like, oh, interesting. Um, they wanted it to be way more skate heavy. Okay. In really? the beginning. Yeah. yeah. And then we had the concept of like, L like they wanted like skate up high percentage and then like just ruin porn basically they just yeah. want to show some empty buildings okay and then we're like we want we're all very big fans of like documentary film and stuff you want to tell a story right? exactly you just don't want to go there and skate this abandoned ha and warehouse alex, or alex is a super talented filmmaker he he's one of the guys that made that macho tail drop movie that i yes, did a long time right. ago and yeah. he did a lot of other stuff he did some tv stuff too uh -huh. and then um we were all talking and we're like we don't want it just to be like this doing tricks in empty places like okay. yeah. so we're like we got to do a documentary about people yeah so we use and why it's abandoned yeah yes yeah. exactly right. like we're using them as a conduit as like a, a way to reach people yeah. yeah and be like this thing like what's what how does this affect you and and before and now and going into the future and so basically these guys this network is television network uh basically green lit a show within like a call wow so we flew to toronto to those offices and had a meeting and uh um, did you have to do like a pilot first and shoot no. like one to see if it no we did that just to um we shot the first one and then we could have just continued shooting but we mm -hmm. shot the first one and we edited it all together and made a final final project okay product and then sent it in kind of just like we wanted to do that they okay. just wanted us to film right yeah just like this is what we see yeah it's our vision we wanted yeah. to like get yeah. notes and like really yeah. feel it out right. and um and i think we did do better after the first one so you have a you have a, a hand in it though too yeah. right so yeah. you not you're not only just in front of the camera you're 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 backtracking but they me and those guys were already developing a show idea okay for it was kind of like a travel show yeah and we built the treatment and we worked really hard on it and yeah. it was just like you know i I had like a studio that I would go to and we would just work. Right. So we, we would been working together already on concepts and stuff like right. that. So uh, when it happened, we just like dove right into it. Well, and, but, but when something yeah. like that comes around, yeah. you know, you're like, okay, well, I've been working on this thing over here, yeah. but, but this is a goddamn good idea. Well, like yeah. let, let's roll with this, yeah. you know, like yeah. just honestly, we were more stoked on our original idea, but they didn't want to make it. So we we're like, let's, right. let's 
work with their concept and yeah. make it how we would do it. Okay, mm-hmm. right. And that's what happened. And, and, and even in the early days, they were like, more skate, more skate, mm. which I think skaters would have wanted too. Yeah. But we just didn't want it. You guys it have a good balance show. though. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, I think so We too. put it in there and it was like, it was fun. Yeah. I like how it's like not about you and maybe your f- mm-hmm. friend or whoever we were with skating. Like you like get involved with the community. Yeah. yeah. Which is awesome. It was like an incredible experience. Yeah. I, I don't do that. I don't go talk to people about what's going on of in course, their lives. Right. We cry. Well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, yeah, no. I mean, so, yeah, it's like me here, like us here. Like we don't sit down and talk to people like this, like no. in real oh, life, you no. know? No, we should. More we, we, should. we should. Yeah. yeah. No, totally. This society would we be don't better have, off. We don't have time. I got to check my Instagram. Now, did they want to just do it on the web? No. Or was it, oh, was they routine. fully said, hey, yeah. this is going to be on television. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. They still were pushing for a little more skate and then... Mm-hmm. Um, we just kept handing in Why do you episodes? think they were pushing with skate? Is it just because skate's kind of in right now and they wanted to like have a little skateboarding just, in there or like more it. action or something? I don't even know. I think they just didn't really understand what we wanted to do. Yeah. Or maybe they, maybe they it. thought travel shows are played out or something and they wanted the, kind a of a skate. Show. You know what I mean though. You're going, you're going somewhere though, you know. socioeconomics. I, I get it. But you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you're traveling to a place. Yeah, it is a know? travel show because so. we had to get, we had to travel to right. do it. So anyway, once they started seeing a few episodes coming in, then they had our back like Oh, full good. On. And yeah, then they good. were like, leave because we were in Vancouver and there's a Toronto office and a New York office that we had to deal with. Mm-hmm. And we're in Vancouver and we're the only kind of the only crew that was on our own. Mm. And then eventually they're just like, leave them alone. They're doing a good job. And Great. so it was yeah. like, you know, best case scenario for a lot of people. Right. Yeah. We're just like, you guys just do so they gave thing. You the budget. You guys just handled it. Yeah. And we did. We did on time and on budget. Yeah. And How big's awesome. your crew on the road? Yeah. Five. Really? That's it. Yeah. It's a small crew. Producer. Couple it's, filmers. It's me, the director who also shoots. Okay. A shooter, Dave, a uh, producer, and then a PA. Okay. Production assistant, right. Dane, and they're all skaters. So when you go out to these places, well, how do you find these places? First of all, I mean, is it uh, like yeah, how do you find yeah. the people involved? Yeah, well, right. it's a long process. We I'm we sure. hired like researchers and a uh, writer, okay. and certain things you knew about and thought and looked up. It's just like a lot of googling and then like calling people and then getting word of mouth through that yeah. and just following leads. Right, yeah. right. And then all, is and it then, all through skating, pretty much? No. no, no. Okay. And then when we're on the ground, we would find people. Perfect. And those were some of the best moments. Yeah. yeah. Just like someone mm-hmm. in the neighborhood and be like, like the hugging dude. Cam. Yeah. yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> There's this guy who's a professional cuddler. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Did you hug him? Yeah. For a long, 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 <laughs> long, long, long time <laughs> to get this shot. Oh and he was God. getting really nervous, but I was like, Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. He was like giggling. <laughs> <laughs> that would freak me out a little bit, but yeah. Yeah. So I did this show with like my best friends that's more than you could ask for it's insane i think you know it's sort of like how it goes with life you got to just take those opportunities right. are you guys done shooting now yeah we're done are you guys gonna do another season or uh we i don't know if we're allowed to talk about it well i got some <laughs> ideas Rick. i got some ideas yeah you know oh you do yeah good don't say it here because someone will absolutely no, I, I'm steal not, it I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah but it's Let's a good talk. it is a kind of a little travel showy-ish but uh, anyway well it was too many of those but anyway right. like i yeah. said about you being uh, not being a canadian right is like yeah our crew had to be canadian because we worked through the canadian office oh yeah okay so we couldn't have hired you we could have interviewed you right. that's why i didn't get a call to and film st- yeah and we yeah. still yeah. might Mm-hmm. Well, okay. in the future, I'll, I'll think about you. Do you write all this stuff? I mean, because if you're doing voiceovers and yeah. stuff, like, do you, like, we have a writer. Like, if a writer's writing it, but you're saying it, right? But you must put your own twist on it. Yeah. Right? So and the like, writer, the, the the writer writes the voiceover. Yes. Because we need these transitions from scenes. Of course. It's this guy, Michael Grand. He's a, a funny guy. <laughs> yeah. I like him, but uh, he's not a skater, okay. so he didn't really. It was a lot of like the first few episodes is like this isn't Rick's voice. Mm-hmm. So I was like, give it Rick's voice and Rick give him pointers. And then near yeah. the end, I started doing more writing. of. The, okay, good. Right. And right, then right. I, I really enjoyed that, actually. That's amazing, yeah. And a lot of times, I didn't feel like it was my place to write it because it was his job. Do you feel like it's your show? Or is it like your group? Of oh, it's, guys? A, it's a, uh, everybody. Yeah, right. It's a, what do you call it? It's a collaboration. Yeah, it's right. like 100% collaboration from everything, from music, yeah. from... You're just the face of it. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. And I get a lot of credit for a lot of people's work. And I probably did the least amount of work. <laughs> when you're writing, but yeah, I mean, it's I your mean, voice, I my part. you know, it's yeah. your voice. So you could hear voiceover work, you know, yeah. and you're like, okay, that sounds corny as hell. Yeah. That guy would never say that. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. it's like, I would be worried. Yeah. Like, like when you were doing Macho Ch- Tail Drop, right? Yeah. Okay. Was that your, like your first little acting yeah. type thing? Well, we did a now, little small thing before that same crew. Okay. Well, you know, we've all done little things, right? Sure. 
shit pro skaters say, whatever, yeah. you know, we've, we've done, we've done our little bit. Okay. You know, so, uh, but, 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 bam, viva, bam, viva la bam, yeah. you know, I would be nervous, right? Because when? a lot of like acting and like macho tail, tail drop. Oh, you know? acting. Because, yeah, yeah, because it's like, you know, we're not actors, you know, we're skateboarders, right? Some I'm not, of, some of us are skaters, but I'm just yeah. saying that like, I, I, <laughs> some I feel some like, just act, I feel like you feel, you think so? Yeah, I don't, fucking, just I don't actors. think so. Have Everybody you, can act. No. Well, everybody can act, but maybe not well or naturally. Yeah. Right. What right. I've but, ever, what's you, always worked for me is I use the nervous energy. Yeah. It just happens. But weren't you worried about like the fir- first time you were doing it? Like I, I could come off like these people behind the camera might be like, we, we, we hired the wrong guy. This, these is are not, my best, this is not the right guy. These are my best friends. I'm trying to get them stoked. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. If it was another crew, I would have hated it. So the, the comfortability yeah. was through the roof. And the director, Alex, is kind of like, I, I used to feel like he was sort of like a big brother to me. You okay. know, like I looked right. up to him in some ways. really yeah. smart. And I would just feel like maybe I'm going to let these guys down. You know, maybe oh, they got I, the wrong I, guy. I did. Like, you know. I did sometimes. Right. Because I'm not good at um, just talking to strangers and things like that. And I get nervous. And I, and uh, one time he's like, oh, talk to that guy. And I was like, actually, I, I can't do it. Right. You can't? I can't. No? Like this one time I was just like, I can't. I'm sorry. I'm too, I'm like scared. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know oh. what to say this person. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that um, from what I've been told is like people liked the sincerity of that. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? But you wouldn't think like, okay, I got to do, this is going to be great for the show. I got to just, but you're being yourself. I would. I pushed through a lot of really uncomfortable times. Right. You know what I enjoyed was when you were talking to the dog. I miss that. What was that? You were talking to a uh, dog? It was our BC Coast episode. Okay. And uh, I was trying to find people in this ghost town and this dog showed up and I was like, take me to your owner. And he was so good. Really? It was almost like a trained dog. Huh. Yeah, it's so funny. So do they have the cameras on you at all times? And they, they they can't do that, right? So they have to like plan out like when the dog thing happened. Were they like, uh, oh, turn the cameras on. This is good. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes we just keep them running for a long time. And, yeah. And it would be like, you know, you'd edit out a bunch of, of things that didn't work out. Or, right, 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 um, right, right. I mean, I watched it back and whenever, because I had to interview people like what you do. Yeah. And um, I had this tick, like this problem where I'm always going, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. 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 Yeah. 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 Right. Right. And right. Every time yeah. they're like, when we first started right. the show, yeah. I still do it. Yeah. I still do it. I usually just drink. Yeah. He yeah. drinks, right? You're good at that. You're really good at that, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Killing it. How big is your bladder? Not that big. No. <laughs> Macho tail drop, right? And then abandon. Would you, did you ever think two like different animals? Two different beasts. I get it. But, but did it, what is it, what is ever going to cross your mind? Like, how am I going to come off? You know, are people going to like this? Am I going to look like a fool? Like, no, because no, no, you had trust in the people doing mm-hmm. it. I knew that, uh, that our team was like epic. Okay. Yeah. okay. And then, and I, I'm in, in there in the end and I can help talk about things like, I always worry about that kind of stuff. But you know? the, honestly, no, even when we first started doing this show, you know, I was like, what are people going to think? Yeah. Like, you know, and it's, we, we just got to, you just got to dive you down. You just got to dive into the pool. You got to say, fuck it. You know? Yeah. My whole thing, my only fear was I don't want to bum skaters out. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So, and I think we did a good job of just not doing that. I don't know. You come from skateboarding. Yeah. So you're not going to make something like, you know, a cheese it commercial with yeah. the guy hauling over the car, but you could tell yeah. it's a bail. I just, we, we <laughs> our you know whole, what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. it's uh, what we did is documentary and it's very serious and we had to make sure everything was sincere. And I of think course, we, we right. pulled that off okay. and we were, Great. we were really pleased with how it worked out. We were like, yeah. we did it. We right. did what takes longer shooting like the, you like talking about the abandoned building with some random stranger or like the skate portions of the, the thing. Ooh. Cause I feel like the skate portions probably take a lot longer. I don't think so. No, yeah? no, we didn't yeah. have a lot. We had like one, maybe two skate days a, tr- a trip. Right. And then it was like, it was a breath of fresh air. You know what I mean? I got to just skate. Yeah. And then sometimes we'd have some super long interviews that would go through a lot of different um, sites, mm. locations. And then we'd have to get like wide shots. And then right. mm-hmm. and then what they call naughties, where it's just a shot of me going, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah not in my head. Yeah. And like, right. oh, wow. Yeah. For right. the edit. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, how did you have to get like permission to go into these buildings? Yes. Okay. So that did you, did you ever get denied? All the time. Really? It was extremely hard to get ten episodes of that. Really? Show. Yeah. 
Really? No one wants to show you their failures. Oh. You know what I mean? Who, what, what, from, the, from the city or from the building owners? Every, or all of the above. All of the above. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Wow. And we got permission. Our first episode was in Ohio. And we went to this place called Rolling Acres Mall. Okay. Which is a giant abandoned mall. That was the haunted mall? Yeah. yeah. Ghost mall. Yeah. Wow. Skate ghost. Shit. Uh, we called our drone skate ghost after that. That's but um, <laughs> And we thought we had permission. Oh. Cause, but we had permission to go into this one building. It was a Dillard's. Cool. Mm-hmm. But it turns out, like, so I talked to some reporter after because she interviewed me from Ohio when yeah. it was going to air. And she's like, actually, that guy doesn't own the whole building. He just owns this one store. Really? So we were like, oh. But it turns out the city took over ownership right after that and they're tearing it down. So we're not going to get sued, I don't think. Oh, good. Yeah. But it was like, uh, right. But yeah, it's like extreme. Huh. It was extremely hard to get permission wow. to go places. Like, if you went into a, a building, was there like you know, squatters and people like hanging out there. Like, no. what, was it ever sketchy? Did you ever go in and be like, God damn, this is, we no. got to get the hell out of here. What about the, um, the, the nuclear like uh, bomb shelter where you jumped? That was fucking scary. That looked nuts. Going in there at first was like the gnarliest. You probably, I don't know if you saw it. I didn't see the nuclear. It was a no. missile silo, underground okay. missile silo. Right. That had. Where was this? In it's Washington been, like, Station. flooded. Okay. That had flooded the, they had, shut it down and then the ground the pumps had been turned off so it flooded with groundwater okay. and like the silo the big tunnel that goes 150 feet there's 110 feet of water in it whoa yeah and it was the clearest purest water really yeah you would think it would be murky and all disgusting no, it's just beautiful clean groundwater and then getting there we'd walk through these tunnels that were half filled with water really and they're just rusty it's like it's like um aliens i gotta go back and watch yeah, that. yeah. Fucking crazy. yeah. i love it, that I love, was creepy yeah yeah and then I was in the, we we're in there and we had wetsuits on and I was like, dude, there's like three stories above this. And I climbed up and jumped in. Oh, yeah. you did? Yeah. How so did you, would, oh, you could see the, you could yeah, see. You could, clearly. And okay. then we had these two guys that were um, divers that had lights underneath oh, and stuff. Yeah. Perfect. But it looked yeah. like a small hole you were jumping into too. It was big enough. Yeah. yeah. It was really weird because um, you're walking on like a, on a floor. Yeah. And then beside you is like 110 feet down mm-hmm. with no railing. But you could just swim out, you know. Oh. But it felt like you would fall. Wow. I mean, it must be so cool going to all these places, it man. Was like a great experience. Abandoned buildings are probably. I mean, it's one of the coolest things. Yeah. To go in and see these. Pl- I always trip on like Chernobyl and stuff. I wanted you know to what go I mean? there. Like, I mean, these cities that are just yeah. dead. When, when we first started know? making the show, we were looking at doing international as well. Yeah. We just all we did was North America. Okay. But I was like, I want to go to Chernobyl yeah. and skate there. I would yeah. love. I would go too in a heartbeat. Yeah. There's yeah. still radiation there, right? I'd fuck it. And then we um and then we decided everything we can cover North America and there's a good story to tell there. Yeah. yeah. So no sketchy shit. No, you didn't go in no. and be like, this is you know, let's find another building. When we were this in St. Louis, which by the way is one of my favorite cities it's ever. Been amazing, to I love it too. Um, Randy, Randy Plusser. Yeah. Shout out. Shout we out. had a um, police of some sort go through the schools, make sure no one's in there. Oh. Okay. And like this lady, it's in the episode, this lady cop is walking through and she's like carrying a pistol, like drawn. Yeah. And really? Around, and she's like banging on doors with the butt end of it. It was weird. That's a trick. A lot of squatters. I think yeah, just, there are you, a lot of squatters. You just there. don't know. It's an yeah. abandoned building. Perfect for somebody. That was the to, one with the uh, the gymnasium floors all. Yeah, warped gym floor oh, that you could skate. Sick. And then there was, uh, I talked to a guy, I didn't make the, the edit, but there was a guy that... Um, volunteered to find people and get them to shelters and he would go into these places and he oh, told wow. us some pretty crazy stories like oh, yeah. dudes just with like um needles in their necks passed oh, out and geez. Geez. trying to wake them up you're crazy yeah, man. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i like you but you're, you're crazy, crazy yeah man. but it was cool I know. there weren't a lot of good skate spots in those places i, I was going to ask you because when you're scouting these places mm-hmm. were you specifically looking for abandoned buildings with skate spots or were you no. just like you know what we'll find something yeah We'll no. find something. No, we weren't looking for buildings with okay. skate spots. We were looking for like stories that connected to people. And if right. there was a skate spot, that was a really good bonus. And one of them, I think it was the Salton Sea episode, we skated this um, pool. Oh. That uh, like I was, I was the first one to ever skate it. Really? Yeah. It's cool. I called it Crank Bowl. Crank Bowl. It's called Crank Bowl, the one with the naked lady. A lot of people go out it. there and do photo shoots and stuff, yeah. skate teams. And I'm yeah. surprised they didn't skate the bowl. Yeah. Huh. Crank okay. Bowl. Man, what an interesting! I, I would love to. Uh, I love that abandoned buildings and stuff. It's amazing. It's funny because I'm not really. That's they call it urban exploring or okay. urb, urbex or or, uh, or or they call themselves bandos abandoned. Mm. And I'm not into that scene, but like 
by default, people are always hitting me up now about oh, it. Yeah, really? because they they go in there and watch photograph stuff. Yeah, there's a, a lot like of a people lot of, are into that. Yeah, I mean, huge number but of people. It, but it's it's yeah. such when you look at like a photo of something like that, it's it's very like it's surreal. It's surreal. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. We did a little uh, Instagram edit of every time I went wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. wow wow whoa wow right. wow yeah right. It's, right. it's really weird well, what's cool too is they're capturing they're capturing your initial reaction yeah. as well that was know? my role was to to learn on camera because i don't think i would want to go in and explore beforehand i'd want to go oh. in yeah straight away with the cameras blazing we had to do it you know that what way. i mean yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. They, so sometimes they would go in then without you're, then you're acting you know it's like yeah. i've already seen this shit now we, i'm just acting for yeah. the camera we did you know? have to do that a couple times but i'm sure i'm sure it happened it's work but, you know. we did 10 10 day trips like it was a lot of time we shot for probably took a little over a year to be fully done with it it's and 100 days yeah yeah and we never and like there's editing and all the writing mm-hmm. and everything and we uh we we all got along the whole time and yeah. it was epic. Yeah. But it's cool too because you're doing that stuff, but you I mean, you're so used to doing this shit Kinda. anyway, being a skater. Yeah. Going on tour yeah. for ten plus days. It was easier because it was like right, a I'm lot of sure. times it would be ten days in one town and you right. get your own room. Yeah. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Which I right. didn't like for the first two, three episodes. Yeah. I was like, This is a lonely thing and I'm usually have a roommate right. and yeah. And yeah. then I really liked it because yeah. I would get uh, worn out from talking to people because I'm an introvert and connecting with people and strangers wears yeah. me out and I need to be alone to recharge. Oh, I, I'm the yeah. same way though. Talking is exhausting. Yeah. Like when we do the show, yeah. I go home and I'm burnt for like two days. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, man. For me, it's, it's, it's like, tough. if it's like people I know and I'm safe, feel safe yeah. with or whatever. Okay. It's, I, I, I could see that no too. Problem. But 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 it's just the, t- the thinking and the talking, yeah. and the, you know, because, hey, I got to listen to you. Yeah. And think about what I'm going to say to yeah. you. Like, it's a whole thing. You're you know? working. You're working. Yeah. Right, so, Raj? Totally. I and don't know. You're looking at me with that wonky eye. And I, don't know <laughs> I'm, I don't know what to think sometimes, And you've Raj. never even been married. I know. Huh. Right. I think Vice would benefit from a little uh, radio talk show, you know? Like, a, they have that. What do they have? De Zeus and Mero. Oh, they do? There's, like, podcast dudes that do, an, uh, uh, like, a night show now. Yeah, hmm. they, got, they got the wrong guys. But uh, What do they know about skateboarding? Yeah. Zero. They're just like uh they were called the Bodega Boys. They're just like a New York centric uh, mm. kind of thing. Okay, so the um what else can we talk about? Well, I don't know. I'm I'm so fascinated. Let's with talk the about abandoned um, show. Let's talk about Chris. Chris Let's talk about me. I'll tell you this. Thank you. Tell me. You want to be on TV. I no, know you, I, no, you do. I okay. You do. Yeah, you know. You do. <laughs> I would love to be a walker on The Walking Dead. Sure. I would love that. You I know. know you've said that before. So that's Or maybe true. the crazy cousin on Stranger Things that gets eaten right. by the monster. Right. You know? I like shit like that, you know? Yeah. You just want to date a celebrity, don't you? I would love that there too. You know. Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift. Yeah. 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 I'm in it. Yeah. It's super weird when non skaters know who you are. Right. It is yeah. the scariest thing. Right. <laughs> yeah. I, I bet. No, yeah. Totally. So I don't know how to deal with that. You're right. that dude. But see but see here's yeah. the thing though, you know what I mean? Like being a skateboarder and we, we have, you know, signing autographs and being noted, yeah. like rolling into a skate park yeah. and having every head turn and look at you. Yeah. You know, like we that, know how that works. I'm not that guy either. Yeah. You know, I, I'm very like I, I'm very standoffish. Yeah. Like I, I'm the guy who's walking down the street and sees a bunch of skaters and I cross the street. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I don't want to like yeah. get into get into it. Yeah. Maybe they know who I am. Maybe they don't know who I am. Yeah. Like I don't know how, I, I, I don't know. Like if I go, hey guys, and they're like, who the fuck is this guy saying? Yeah. Hey, you know what I mean? Or if I go, if I don't say anything to him, yeah. they're like, Chris Roberts is a dick. You didn't say anything to us. But sometimes it's pretty rad. Yeah. And they're like, totally. well, thanks so much for, you, know, you made my right. day. Kind of thing. No, no, for sure. But, but, yeah. but I'm just saying that I'm not that guy, yeah. you know? Well, it's really weird and... And sometimes it is like um, it does feel really cool, and you get to, people are really connected with some of the show, and they're like right. really it means means stuff to them. Yeah, of course. So um, okay, you know when you go into the skate, like I'm not saying like our show has a lot of views in the world, but you know you go into the skate park, people like. I'm sure you. it's one of the most I more f- popular shows on Vice. I think it's got good ratings yeah. for their network, mm-hmm. but um, I'll go into the grocery store now and kind of feel like, what if someone knows me? Right. And and right. I'm scared of that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, for sure. yeah. I don't want to talk yeah. about it. Like I just like. Has anyone well, approached you, know, you for like an autograph? My bidet wasn't working or something, and I <laughs> bummed out. And <laughs> that's what's crazy about skateboarding too is that I think I think Rodney Mullen said it somewhere where yeah. he's like, you go to a skate park and 
people go nuts over you and mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, not like for you for sure. But then you go to like Seven Eleven and you're and invisible. And then no yeah. one even you're, you're nobody. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. loved that. Yeah, yeah. I, I went to uh, I was at California Chicken Cafe one time. Uh, getting my stuff to, what CCC CCC yeah. Yeah. Ball, I by love the way. it I love it yeah, but but there it. was a guy Chinese chicken wrap sure. he, he was on Seinfeld uh -huh. uh, he was one of the uh, bosses one of Elaine's bosses yeah. but yeah. he wasn't on for very long with the white hair Peterman no he, uh, no 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 not Peterman um, but he wasn't like he wasn't like a regular yeah. or he wasn't even he on for that for, for that many seasons he had a part that but you literally to have. literally he was getting something to go mm -hmm. and like seven people came up yeah. to him yeah and I was like, I was sitting there watching it. I'm like, how lame is that? Yeah. Like the guy's just trying to get some chicken. He's just waiting for his goddamn chicken. And you know, and that, 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 I would be so like. And you can't have like a sincere conversation with somebody. Yeah, right. It's just like that you did this thing and you're like, yeah, I did. Right. And then what? And then like you're nervous. But I'd be exhausted. Yeah, it's tiring. You know, you were trying to skate every day for one point, right? Yeah, for yeah. a whole year. Yeah, that's hard. How far? <laughs> yeah. Especially when you live in like a rainforest. Yeah. Oh shit. So and you and I got hurt a lot. I yeah. tried. I did a solid six months, maybe more. Okay. Where I got. I mean, that's great. And then I think, uh, and that ended with some injuries and stuff. Some, sometimes I feel like if you skate every day, you're just you're kind of. Uh, What's the word for it? You're you're kind of setting yourself up for disaster. Yeah. You know? I feel you just like get burnt out, dude. You know, you know what I mean? Like I I feel like sometimes if I take like two, three days off yeah. and I get get back on my board, like I am pumped. I'm on fire. I'm landing all my tricks, yeah. which is <laughs> which is not very when you unusual. Get older, when yeah. you get older, you need a recovery. You know what I mean? I I feel like you, you know skating every day like burns you out. Yeah. You know, Skate every maybe other day. everybody's different. Oh, yeah. Everybody's different. There's only I'm just two saying, people maybe that for can me, do it. Brandon Beeble. Yeah. And day one. This is true. Oh, it's yeah. true. <laughs> Nailed true. it on the <laughs> head. Yeah. And yeah. everybody else is like, they're the anomaly and there's no other. Right. Uh, no, for sure. I did it because I read something like Pops and Brian Wenning did it when they were kids. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah and kids. I was like, yeah, that's how you get better. Right. And yeah. I wanted to, like, I was. That's what hurt. you do as kids. Yeah. 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 Cool. But you know what, though? I think even uh, like riding your board down to the store. Yeah. Is is great because you're on your yeah. board. It's a, when I'm in Barcelona. I go to look store every day on my board. See? Yeah, <laughs> see, I ride a bike a lot. I, I ride. A, I love my bike. Hey. But when I was in Barcelona, it's like you just skated everywhere. Yeah. yeah, and I felt like, man, I'm just so I feel great because mm -hmm. I'm just skating. Even if I'm just skating back and forth to wherever you know, not not doing yeah. tricks, but yeah. I'm, you're on your board. Yeah, you know, it's so that's great feeling. too. So yeah. I I consider that. Uh, yeah, it is skating every day. Yeah. Some you days know? I would just skate around the block just I to take that. it off, right. which was like cheating. No, but what still, I wanted no, to do is like do like twenty kickflips or something. Yeah, you know? but but see that's it's, even it's, setting yourself up yeah. for a disaster. You it's know? an unrealistic goal for. But we didn't start skating for under rules like that. No, you know? like we started no, no, skating. No. I skated every day. Right, but actually, where I lived, it was uh, in Ottawa, it was snowy and icy. Yeah. But we had a, a boys and girls club to go to. Okay, that I skated at, but I I would go snowboarding there. Yeah, yeah. I've never tried snowboarding. Have you tried it, Raj? Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Boston. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. so fun. Uh, it's really nothing but fun for I've me. What did you find first, snowboarding or skateboarding? Skating. Right? Snowboarding not long after. I've been yeah. snowboarding since the 80s. Yeah. I love it. I, it's seriously the funnest thing I do. Yeah. Skating is amazing, but I got to go on a week-long snowboarding trip. Um, it was catboarding, so it's like basically a tank that takes you up the hill. Okay. Yeah. Really? And Wait, uh, like a tank? Like a. It's like a tank. It's got like... Oh, like a big caterpillar yeah, type yeah, fucking yeah. thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. And you sit in the back, and it's got stereo wow. and food and perfect. We, um, you know that company Polar? Yeah, mm -hmm. they did a collab board series with Nitro Snowboards. Okay. And two guys that ride for Nitro ride for Polar, and they also do this brand, Drink Water. Awesome. And they're like, "Hey, we're gonna do a video for the boards. You want to come on this trip?" And it was like, it was insane. Really? The video is about to come out. I can't wait. Yeah, I got I got yeah. snowboard tricks in this video. Really? Right. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of snowboard tricks are and, you doing? And we camped on the rails? mountain. We camped on the mountain. Yeah. But there was a lodge, and they would bring us food and stuff like five See, star I chef. Would be in the, I would be in the it's I'm glamping. A, I'm a yeah. glamper. Yeah, yeah. I'd be. You'd have loved it. Yeah. You'd yeah. loved it. But yeah, I got some tricks. You Dropped some cliffs. Did some really? some three no. sixties. Really? Yeah. Seriously? Did some pillow drops. Some powder what, turns. Some butters. Yeah. You're talking a whole different language. I don't understand. But they had this one thing called an Asmo board, which is like a surfboard. There's oh. no bindings. It just has like a one of those foam pads on top, mm -hmm. 
and you and it only works in powder and and you just ride those things and it was fucking really? awesome yeah I started fooling around with the handrails and stuff like that. Is that fun? No. No? Dude, that Why? That's gnarly, dude. It's I not, feel like you just I think hop the dudes that do it like it, but I compare it to what skateboarding feels like, and it yeah, sucks. Yeah, it's different. Uh, it's, really? Yeah, it's slippery, and I don't know. You're, huh. you're in your bindings, and it's scary. I, I don't was, know. I always you tripped out. Your edge. Yeah. I like jumping. Like tabletops, all stuff. that stuff, and like powder and all that stuff. But I, always, I don't really mess with. The, I always the tripped rails. out on how you like judge your speed on a tabletop. You gotta call ass. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Really? <laughs> yeah, you really gotta just trust it. Wow. The guy that made the antisocial video, Jake uh-huh. Kuzik, okay. he's a pro snowboarder. He does really? street stuff. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, and that guy Jed Anderson, he skates with. I think he was getting nine one seven boards or something. But oh. yeah, a lot of snowboarders really are really good at skating. Yeah, like yeah. super yeah. good. I yeah. haven't seen the antisocial video. Do you have a part in it? I've two tricks. I haven't seen. It. I I, I want to see it, but um, I like it. Yeah, did yeah. it for the for the dudes. The dudes, it was yeah. all their thing. It was like, Sick. balls in your car, do yeah. whatever you want. And they're like, we like VX and we want to do this. And I was like, well, I it. don't, but you can enjoy <laughs> it. Yeah. Right, right, it's right. your thing. Yeah. How, how is it with the antisocial? It's good? It's good, yeah. You know what's cool? We've been open for, what, like 13, 14 years. I mean. Yeah, we've been around. Great name, yeah. too. Most of that time, we, a lot of our sales was people coming in, buying shoes and clothes, mm-hmm. like mixed with the skaters. Okay. And after the recession, you know, that kind of died down. Mm-hmm. This summer was just like boards. Really? really? Crazy. Skaters. Yeah. It Whoa. was sick. Huh. I don't know. What, like we make less money, but it was just like, I was so psyched on how many hard goods were flying yeah. out of there. It just felt good for the, for the skating. That's amazing. Yeah. What's uh, flying out of the store right now? Chris Roberts boards. All the stuff, like the smaller <laughs> brands are really popular. Chris yeah. board is really. I'm telling you. Um, we can't keep that one in. That's yeah. Chris it. Roberts yeah. board. You can't even <laughs> yeah. get yourself to order it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it happens all over. The dudes that are around Vancouver really like all that small brand movement and yeah. stuff like that. I think it's everywhere. Yeah. A lot of people love that yeah. shit. Now, are you ordering from distributors or are you actually ordering directly from these uh, small brands? It's a mix, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Originally, like, when we started, we were, like, ordering Unibomber boards from uh, us, uh, from England and stuff. Like, we were oh. just like, these brands are sick. Yeah. Right. We just wanted to get new, unique stuff. But yeah. More distributors are picking those up now, though, yeah. in Canada. Hmm. But being an antisocial shop and being Rick McCrank, I mean, do you got, do you, is it heavy on the girl side, too? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Well, even sometimes I'm like, Michelle, my partner, I'm like, yeah. can you get more, more girl awards? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, all right. <laughs> yeah. Fine. But the shop's good. The scene's really good. The, mm-hmm. the dudes are stoked. And then like Michelle Pazell, my partner, she like, it's like the gnarliest community center there. She does all ages shows, like almost weekly, like oh, music whoa. shows in there, really? art shows. In the shop. Yeah. And so. then even like book signings and then what? like. Uh, all the skate stuff, and she runs the, or I think she heads the Vancouver Skate Park Coalition, and she gets parks built and refurbished really? and stuff. And yeah, sounds like a rec center. It's crazy. Yeah, sounds like a great yeah. partner. Yeah, I mean, she's yeah. really involved. Yeah, she is. Yeah, yeah. Just need her to this like want to make money one day, and that'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> that would be. <laughs> she's yeah, just too true blue, you know. what I mean, she's like, fuck that. Yeah, and I'm I mean, like, it's, ah. great. it's great. Just yeah. keep the doors you know, open. It's great. Exactly. She doesn't yeah. care about money, and that so that shows. Like, it's just like it's about the community. The community. You know? right, she's right, like right, fucking right. nailing. Did she ever it. skate? Yeah, she skates. Oh yeah, she's in the video. Is she? She has a uh, like a like a two trick line. Is she uh, street or uh, she's or she's what? street? Yeah, yeah, she's a street skater. Okay. But, uh, hey, thanks for coming, dude. Yeah. And uh, come back anytime, man. I'd love we to. really appreciate yeah. you coming out I'd love all to. the way from Canada. I'm going to uh, come Canada. and uh, promote something. Do it, yeah. <laughs> Maybe skating Mongo. I li- okay. Yeah. It's a new Mongo's thing. Mongo's hot right now. It's, it's trending. Hot. So I love it. I do Switch Mongo. Switch Mongo's tight. Buy the album. <laughs> <laughs> We need to get little Wayne on the show. Holler at him, man, straight yeah. up. Yeah. How do I get a hold? Should I insta- Should I DM him or what? How do I, uh, what, what should I? How do I get hey, a hold of hey, little Wayne? Hey, you know what? You know? See, Rob, if you just hit him up, he would probably okay. he would probably be hyped if you. Hit I don't him know up. if Lil Wayne knows who I am. Little man. Wayne probably knows who C. Really? Rob is. Okay. Straight up, man. He 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 knows He's he knows what's fan. up with skating, he man. Does, like honestly. Does. So we were probably the first brand ever to actually do that. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. There's any ever any I brand. Yeah. I can't think. That is a site. You know what? Right. Shit's not cool right now. Let's yeah. pull it Were you back, guys like right? creative retreat? Were you guys in the desert doing peyote? Or like, what were you guys doing? What were you guys doing? How creative were you guys getting? What was this? What were we doing?